Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to more Motorsport Manager. Right, this is proving to be another difficult season, but I think, like I said before, I think what we should do this season is concentrate on building up our HQ as much as we possibly can and just surviving for another year. And then next season we'll make a push uh, trying to get close. We can try and get closer this year as well. Once this is finished building, we can build the test track, which allow us to upgrade our engine up to a great level, which would be nice. And also we can look at upgrading some of this other stuff, but it is all very expensive. I mean, we look at this, about five and a half million just to improve drivers, people. Um, what's that? It's 2.2 .2 million to improve our scouting. I get six million just to get weather forecast, and it's really, really expensive, isn't it? So let's see what happens. This has got, how long has this got left to build now? Does it say? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Um, it doesn't say how long it's got left. This will make it a great... It's a great upgrade for us, this one, but there we go, anyway. Right, car condition update. Going to get improved in time. That's fine. Let's accept this interview. Which of your drivers is the best? Uh, we're going to say Gomez. He is the best. Um, pit crew. Um, okay, no big problems. And, of course, the end of this race. Right, how do we get on scouting-wise? I think we'll get to the end of the season before we look to bring in any new drivers. Um, there's some interesting ones. I mean, you look pretty good. Three star. We'll see how we get on. Like I said, we just want to push forward for now. So I really want to get this um, HQ upgraded as soon as possible. Car repairs are finished. They've upgraded their stuff. We are currently obviously building a brand new engine at the moment. Which should be finished here on Thursday. Which should be a nice upgrade. So if you remember what we said last time, we're going to plow all of our parts onto one car this time. And just really try and build up Gomez's car as much as we possibly can. So you're going to get that now, and you're going to get that. So why Gomez is so annoyed, to be honest, because he should have the better parts. We well, definitely will have the better parts moving forward anyway. Right, design new parts then. We're going to get you so... We're not looking too bad. I mean, medium speed corners is definitely something we need to have a look at because that is currently our lowest, which is going to be suspension. Um, so what do we want? We just want... See, this is not great. There's nothing here that's any good. Is There's a reliability red zone or a risky one. I don't like any of those, to be honest. Um, although it is going to be better than the normal anyway. We could just go for a base reliability. And then next time we can uh, get some massive... See, that's really good. Uh, plus five days build time, but gives us um, a much better part in the future. This is just spending money to get to the next level, really, isn't it? So we'll get that built. Hopefully that'll be built by the time of the next race. Um, scout report finished. Engine built. Okay, we know. Um, not worth staking a huge amount of potential. Low quality driver. Okay. We'll ignore you then. Our suspension finishes rather soon, actually. That's not bad at all. Right, so suspension built. Check out the car and we will get it put straight onto your car for now. Uh, where are you? There you are. It's a good part, actually. It's a very good part. Uh, and then we'll get into building another suspension straight away. We're going to go for the extra five days. That's fine. Oh, we could go for we could go for a link up between this and this, to be honest. But I think this should be fine. Um, medium speak. Oh, that's really good. That is on those tires. If we use medium tires, we won't get the full effect. But it's not bad at all, really. There are some there are some good things moving forward. But that's that's a good suspension. That is, we'll get one of those built. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to get close to this this season. I'm not sure, to be honest. We've got some sponsorship offers here for our main two sponsorships. 19th for above. Which is not going to get it, are we? But we might as well go for it if we've got nothing else. 12 for above. Oh, my God. Well, that's pointless. Um, I don't even know if we should take this. To be, I don't think we should take this. There's 24 cars. So we'll have to depend on five cars ahead of us breaking down, which is probably not going to happen, is it? I'm going to wait for a better sponsorship deal. Um, again, we've got some more people scouted, but they're not very good. And pit crews all auto-managed anyway. Are we going to get this new suspension built in time? Maybe. Right, so three more sponsorship offers now. 
Right, there we go. Eight races. Just get four million up front. We'll take that. Because we've got no worry. That's a really good sponsorship deal, actually. I like that one. And you got three options here. There we go. Nine races, 440k per race. And we haven't got to finish in any position. We'll take that. Okay, that's good. That's some decent money coming in now because obviously we messed up last season with the voting process and we voted in favour of something we really didn't want, which was all the money going to the teams that win rather than being spread nicely across the whole pack, which is not great. Um, we're looking okay. We're catching up a little bit. I mean, the car still needs a lot of work. The drivers need a lot of work as well. We're bottom on drivers. But that'll be like this to the end of this season when we'll look to upgrade our drivers. Right, so, uh, ooh, interesting. Pierre Gasly won the second race of the season in Formula 1 with Hamilton in second. And Max Chilton, who's driving for... What? Is Chilton driving for Ferrari? He is. So Chilton has replaced Leclerc, who seems to have disappeared completely. Okay. Any other surprises around here? Wehrlein, oh Audi are in here now are they? That's a Rosberg and Wehrlein, uh, Gale, Edwards, wow okay. Interesting where Leclerc got himself to though, but that's a good result for Chilton getting in um, third place. He needed that because he didn't do very well in the previous race, so that's interesting, very interesting. Well let's continue pushing then, we've got our suspension to be ready by the time the next race comes around which is nice. I just want our HQ to be done. I really want our HQ to be done. Right, check out your car. So we're going to fit this. So we're going to give you the new one. And Faith gets the old one. Design new part again. See, that's still not great, is it? We've got the lowest... The lowest part of everything, haven't we? We're equal with the low speed corners because everyone's got the same one. See, high speed corners are actually quite high on, to be honest. But medium was still pretty low. I mean, can we... So we could... We can do that's only in race. We can possibly do this to get a really good part. So we get plus 15 reliability. We get an extra five build time, but we get extra plus 40 to the um, performance. Then plus 40 to the base, and then minus 10. So that's not bad at all, to be honest. That's actually a really good part, to be honest. One day after the race, that's going to be finished. But I think that's worth getting that. It's going to be a good part. Very good part. Right. So the race is upcoming then. It's going to be next week. I don't know when our... There we go. Upgraded factory. It's going to be ready before the new race. That's interesting. So we might have to spend a bit more money. Right. Upcoming race. Milan. They want improvement on the acceleration. Which I agree does need doing. Wow. So Zach's speed have also improved... 12 million they spent on their factory. Wow, we spent five and I was a bit gutted and spending five million, to be honest with you. Right, it's going to be Sydney for F2. Is Leclerc in here or is he... Is he... Un Leclerc might be not with the team at the moment then, but looks unless Leclerc has dropped down to the number three driver for, 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 for Ferrari, possibly. Um, okay... So a few more days. There we go. The factory is now upgraded. Is it? Our HQ is upgraded now. Um, oh, there we go. Look, so we are now actually are mid-range on our factory, which is great. Um, so now we can build some new stuff. So building the test track will allow us to get up to the next stage of engine. Plus, it'll also allow our driver's cornering improvements and overtaking improvements as well, which is nice. We can also build tele telemetry, which allows us to improve the gearbox. And brakes, which allows us to obviously improve the brakes. I think we'll go just for the basic test track. I think first, it's a million. It's going to take 24 weeks to build, but I think that's definitely going to be a big improvement for us. I think improving this is going to be a massive start for us, and... Uh, it does mean now as well if we go into our car again and go into improved parts, we now have 20 staff here ready to work on stuff. So do we wanna we can probably deal with the engine. I mean it's not we're gonna get a better engine, aren't we? But um, and we're gonna get a better suspension as well. So we might as well deal with improving the engine. 
might as well get that done. Um, there's a lot of work there, isn't there? Hell of a lot of work. We can't build a new engine until the test track's built anyway, so that engine that we've got on Gomez's car is going to be the best one for a while. Um, okay. I don't know why that's going to take so long. We won't bother with these engines, then. We'll just go on your engine. We want to go for... Let's do that. I'm sure it'll work itself out as we go forward anyway. Um, so that's definitely going to improve that engine of Gomez. So... Our headquarters now has got a bit of a boost, but of course we still have a lot of work to do. I think, like I said, that's going to be the main thing for us this season, is just building that headquarters up, making it stronger, and then next season we can really go... Ooh, Lorenzo would be one of the stronger drivers. He doesn't have a huge amount of potential, so we wouldn't expect him to prove any more. Lorenzo Colombo, three and a bit stars. Okay, you like to race motorbikes. I mean, could we approach you? I mean, it's, you're going to be a lot of money. You're quite marketable, but you're quite a good driver. Hmm. I am very tempted, I must admit, for Lorenzo Colombo. Very tempted. A renewed passion, which means you've got plus one in everything. Okay. I am very tempted to bring this guy in and maybe replace... Um, Faith, because Faith's really dropped, and Gomez is not great either, to be honest. I mean, I could give this guy the new car and drop Faith down to the third driver, where we've got Nuno Baptiste. Hmm. I could definitely do that, you know. Let's hold off, because there's no point in hiring a great driver if we don't have a good car, so we might as well just hold off for now. Right, into Milan for the second race of the season. It is heavily raining, which is not great for us. And we get the nice, cool little cutscene that I love so much. I do like this little cutscene. And there we go, the Italian Todger. Now, again, I'm not expecting much from this race, but we are slowly improving the car. Um, we got a big improvement, of course, to the factory. Which, in the long run, hopefully, is going to help us improve our car. I think this is going to be another dud season. It might take two or three more seasons before we get off the bottom of the rankings, but... As long as we get closer and closer every season, that's the main thing. And we didn't invest too hard in the car this year, did we? Which is probably our main issue. Um, but there we go. Right, so let's just start practice. I can't bother. We're going to simulate the practice. Like, there's no real point of us being part of the practice because there's not really much we can gain from this, to be honest. We know we're going to finish bottom two. So it's just a case of us just trying to figure out... Uh, how bad our car's going to be. And just to, I want to still see if there's a big difference. I mean, at the moment, from what I can tell, I believe that Anthony's car is actually better than Gomez's. I mean, we're putting all of our new bits on Gomez's car. But um, Anthony, I think, has the base better car. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. Right, that's the end of that. So we finish bottom two. Of course we did. Um, Gomez was about a second ahead of Faith Anthony, actually. Uh, and only four seconds away from Zendeli. That's not bad only being four seconds away, you know. That's actually close to what we have been before. Shabby racing are awesome. Oh, thank you. I don't know where you got that from, but I'll take it. Um, so I think we are catching up a little bit. I think this new engine we are currently working on now, of course, we put it in. Once we get the test track built, we can build a great engine, which is definitely going to be, again, another large improvement for us. That's the plan. Um, I can also pick these as well, can't I? Wet tyres, intermediate tyres. It's dry today, so it's a little bit pointless. Um, was there anything else that we can use? Yeah, we can get rid of that. We can go for soft tyres. And let's go for that as well, then race trim. Uh, soft tyres, intermediate tyres we don't need. So let's go race trim. Okay, car setup. You're not too bad. Your speed balance is terrible. Um, so we need to get that sorted. It needs to come probably about this way. And then the gear ratio is more that way. Downforce is okay, but could be better. So we'll put you a little bit that way. Tire choice is a 38 lap race. You're going to get oh, about 11 to 13 laps on these softs. And about 12 to 14. You might as well go soft then, to be honest. Because you're going to last... Not as long, but not far away, to be honest. And we'll take three laps of, we'll take four laps of fuel off. You see if that helps speed you up a little bit. 
Right, and Andre Gomez. Well, your downforce is awful. So we'll get that sorted. Your handling was pretty good. And your speed balance wasn't great. So we'll go like that. And again, you get 14 to 16 laps out of a set of softs and a set of mediums. It's a shame in the bloody uh, practice session you used two sets of softs for some reason. But there we go. We'll give you the softs as well. Again, we'll take away four laps of fuel. And we will get straight into this. If we finish 18th or above, we will get ourselves an extra nearly half a million. So it's really important that we do try for that. Right then, here we go. Faith Anthony and Gomez starting 17th and 14th. We need to finish above this line to get the extra chunk of monies. Let's go to four times speed to start things off. See if we can... Gomez is holding... Well, I'll say he's holding his own. He's not really. He's just staying in front of one or two people. Obviously, our plan is just not to get lapped as much. The moment we are actually staying ahead of Malaysia. And the guys in 23rd and 24th are not really gaining on us either. That's pretty interesting, actually. Not quite sure why. Oh, 21st, 23rd, 24th, just all overtaking us. Okay. I'll take it all back. Let's whiz into 12 times speed and see what happens. Yep, we're 23rd and 24th now. So after two laps, or on after one lap, so I say sorry, we are 14 seconds behind the leader. Which is not ideal. Say Gomez, I think, is going to try and pull away from Anthony. Say Gomez has got the better engine, whereas Anthony has the better rest of the part. So this is probably a better track for Gomez because there's a lot of straights to, to get that top speed up and get the best out of that engine. You see he is pulling away from Anthony. Not majorly, only by a couple of seconds, but I think as we continue to improve his car, it's going to get better and better. I think, again, next season we'll just concentrate on just making one car as good as possible. We probably will invest more money next season on a better car. I mean, this year we're investing more in the actual facilities. Because obviously facilities are going to be something we're going to keep every all the, every year. So that big £5 million upgrade we made on the factory is going to be a permanent upgrade. Whereas any upgrade we make to the car is going to be a dud at the end of the season. So we're doing everything we need to do at this point in time. Right, so Gomez is using his tyres a hell of a lot better than Anthony, who's down to 60% already. Gomez down to 70 and we're dropping 20 seconds behind Zendeli. And the car in first, Chadwick, is coming close to, to lapping us already. Although, look how far he is ahead of second and third. It's quite impressive how quick that Chadwick actually is. Let's hop over to Gomez. Who's a fair old chunk ahead of Anthony now. About five or six seconds. Ed Jones will be given a drive-through penalty. We're hoping for some retirements. That's what we need. Just a lot of retirements that's going to help us... Um, get up to the 18th spot because that extra half a million can make a massive dip. Wow, look how quick Chadwick just flies through. I say that car, Chadwick, is just insane. Really, really is. Um, so go, uh, Anthony's going to have to think about lapping, uh, pitting pretty soon. We're on lap 9, being overtaken by 2nd and 3rd now. 29 laps remain. I don't want to lap too often. I feel like if I can lap at around about lap 15... Which is not going to happen, is it? I mean, lapping around about lap 12. So Anthony's tyres are worn now. I don't want to lap... thing is, if we pit you now, you can end up pitting again really, really soon. And it just seems like it's just a bit too much pitting for you. But it looks like you're going to have to think about it. Then again, we're being lapped quite consistently, so we're not going to make it... We're not going to have to do the full 38 laps, thankfully. Um, so, Anthony, let's get you in then. Let's put you on another set of softs or set of me. We'll put you on a set of mediums for the middle stint. And then you can come back in for a set of softs at the end. We're gonna, we might as well just fix that. It's 10 seconds. You might as well get it done. All right, so we'll get you in the pits first. Gomez can do another lap. Uh, there we go. There's a mechanical issue for Sims. Hopefully that means he's going to be out. That's my hope anyway. Um, so there we go. Tires change. Good. And brakes repaired. Good. Anthony's back out. Gomez is coming pretty close to having to make that change as well. Whereas Gomez is just coming around to finish a lap, so we'll put you in a pits for next lap. You get the same distance out of a set of softs as you do a set of mediums. We'll put you on a set of softs then. I mean, oh, we're pretty close to being able to... Yeah, it's fine because you're not going to finish the race. You're not going to do the full 38 laps anyway, so we might as well let you do that. Um, four seconds pit stop. So does that mechanical issue made any... 
I don't think it's made any difference where we're actually going to gain. No. I thought somebody might have pulled out the race, but evidently not. So at the moment, Gomez is about 20, about 40 seconds ahead of Anthony. Uh, because Anthony has pitted and Gomez is just about to come into the pits now. Apart from that, we are a, a minute behind 22nd now, which is, again, is not great. After only 15 laps, being a minute behind is awful, really. But like I said, as long as you don't get lapped too often, that's the main thing for me. I mean, our very first lap in Episode 1, our very first race in Episode 1 of this entire series, we got lapped seven times. And I think we are getting further and further away from that now. Oh, Chadwick, who's in first, is having some issues with engine, although he's just pitted and it's been fixed, so that's not too bad. Gomez now is about 20 odd seconds ahead of Anthony. Of course, Anthony did have that extra 10 seconds in the pit stop for the repair, so maybe we can't judge everything on the car and the parts we've given them. Uh, both of them are having poor races, to be honest. Anthony rated a 4.9, Gomez rated a 5.1, so it's not great either way. So Campbell's in the pit with some issues, and okay, he's been fixed as well. Jones in the pit with some... Come on, is some, some people going to retire from this race? Come on. We need that extra half a million. Come on, people. So Gomez laps now by number 20, Zendeli. I'm feeling some issues with the brakes. Well, you weren't earlier, mate. Just hold on for as long as you can. Because um, we don't really want to pit you now. Otherwise, we're going to have to pit you again towards the end of the race. Going to make it at least another three or four laps, mate, before we change you again. I don't really want to because then you got to go into medium tyres and you'll be even slower then. Uh, Anthony, your medium tyres are 50% used now, which is not great as well. Going to have to lap again pretty soon, which is annoying really because you should be able to make them last a bit longer than that. So Gomez's race is now up to a 6.6, .6, so he is performing a bit better now. His pace is minus 2.2. I'm not quite sure what that means. Is that his fastest lap maybe? I don't know. I'm quite sure what this pace thing is, to be honest, on the screen. Can you tell me what pace means? I'll mouse over it. Shows the driver's time in each sector. A grey square means they are... Oh. Dilemma, your brakes are screwed. Okay, come in. To put you on a set of mediums till the end of the race, then we'll have to fix your brakes. And fix your rear wing. 30 seconds in the pit. That's going to be great, isn't it? Um... So sectors, okay, so grey sectors means that pace though. Okay. Is that how much faster you were in that sector? So you were minus 4.2 seconds in that sector? There you go, you're now in the pits. Anthony's tyres are now worn, great. It's one thing after another, isn't it? Wow, you're uh, taking a while in these pits, aren't you? Gomez might get taken here by Anthony because he's got a lot of repairs to do. Repairing the brakes. Yeah, Anthony's coming around that final corner. And the rear wing. And he's back out again. Okay, right in front of Anthony. Though, they're pretty close. Anthony is going to have to pit though any minute. And Gomez will go to the end of the race. Anthony, you're going to have to come back in then and put another set of mediums on. That should get you to the end of the race. We're not going to fix any of your stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Even if you retire, it doesn't really matter at this point. All right, let's move your mouse out of the way because I keep mousing over stuff. We've got 12 laps left of the Italian Grand Prix. And it's, again, pretty disappointing. We need to, we just need that one or two massive upgrades. That I think maybe the, the big engine upgrade we're going to get now from the test track is going to be great. That will really improve things, I think. Um, that's the hope, anyway. Because at the moment, it's pretty disappointing how bad we actually are, isn't it? So, Anthony is 20 seconds behind uh, Gomez. And Gomez is 213 seconds behind Zendeli. Which is not great. Not great. That's like three minutes behind the car that's in front of us. Um, and we are... What's that? It's almost five minutes behind the leader, Chadwick. Which is awful. Um, Anthony is having problems with your brakes. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, mate. We're six laps behind. There's eight laps remaining. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. Is it going to... It looked a bit dark and gloomy there. I thought it might rain in there for a little bit. Um, yeah, you can go a bit more aggressive on the fuel now if you want to. 
Um, it is going to use up uh, more tyre as well, though, isn't it? I can't remember, to be honest, but who cares? Just go for it. A bit of fun out there now. Let's test things, see how we're going. See if uh, Anthony can catch up Gomez. I can't imagine it. it's going to be difficult 24 seconds for 27 seconds behind now. Like I said, I think the fact that Gomez has got the higher, the better engine now means he's got the higher top speed. So that's going to definitely help on this track, definitely, because the engine sounds a bit unhealthy. Oh my god. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? One thing after another. We've got no reliability on these parts at all. A couple of parts are looking a bit rough. Oh my god. Maybe we shouldn't go in heavy engine mode because it's just going to damage the actual car. Okay, let's go back to medium. So we don't push the car too hard. Because it does also wear the parts quite a bit as well, doesn't it? Right then. Three laps remaining in this race. And we're only on lap 29 out of 38. That shows how far we are behind. It's been another very disappointing race weekend, but I feel like the HQ being improved now is a good thing. In 24 more weeks, what is 24 weeks? A six months? Six months to build a test track. That's going to be almost the end of the season, isn't it? It's going to be very, very slow progress, but that, that is definitely going to be a massive improvement for us. Well, can we build two things at once? I might try building one of the other things as well, so we're ready for next season with, I don't know, the brakes or the gearbox. And um, we can definitely get some better parts then. Maybe I'll have a look at that actually uh, next episode. We'll see if we can improve something else at the same time. Uh, and just get uh, gets me a bit better. Because I'm a bit disappointed about the about the car at the moment. I say we, we've really invested all our money in, in improving the HQ at this point in time. And there we go. A victory for Decker. Uh, Anthony's car is struggling. But it doesn't really matter at this point in time. Because we're on the final lap. Gomez goes over at 23rd and 31 seconds later here comes Anthony. 35 seconds later should I say. And they're not happy. I'm not happy either. Like I said, we're gonna we're just gonna give this season up. We're gonna improve as much as we possibly can. And then next season we're gonna go for it. We're gonna get better drivers next season because both our drivers' contracts are gonna end this season as well. So we'll get better drivers in. We'll get a better chassis, a better car next time as well. Just everything better, hopefully. Right, we've got no chance of risky rule breaks. Yep, scrutineer incomplete. Excellent. Right, how many laps did we finish behind then? We finished seven laps behind. Wow. Seven laps behind. Only four laps behind the car. We got lapped four times by the car in front of us. That shows how far we are behind. I mean, because these guys are terrible as well. Really, really terrible. We've got a lot of work to do, haven't we? I mean, Persia look like they're going to dominate this season. After getting relegated from the previous series. And we are rock solid bottom. Right. Not a great one for us, was it? Not a great one at all. So let's see uh, what we did monetary-wise this video. I feel like we're going to be losing a lot of money, but I think because of the sponsorship, we did get four and a half million from that sponsorship deal. Anything good? Also, all of Anthony's abilities are going down again. Anthony is rapidly declining as a driver, which is worrying. Rapidly declining as a driver. Um, it's not great, is it? Uh, morale of both drivers went up. And marketability went down as well. Both got traits of disappointing race, which reduces their marketability. We lost 1.25 million in that race. That is not great at all. And we gain that. I love the way we, we picked the financial skill. I mean, we could have picked something better, but I think financial skill is good because you get that little bit of extra money every single time. Uh, so we're putting away a million pound a race nearly for next uh, next season. We're paying a lot for these drivers, and they are pretty bad, aren't they? Um, travel costs. You need to remember as well, now we've upgraded the HQ, we're actually paying more money for it as well, which is not great. So we'll take that money away. Hamilton won the Beijing Grand Prix with Bottas in second, and Max Chilton in third. Okay, that's interesting. Verstappen uh, and Gasly. Ricardo, Ricardo in fourth. That's interesting. So Vettel only got 12th. That puts Chilton fourth in the Drivers' Championship now. Very interesting. And in F2, this is F3, uh, we're terrible, basically. Um, so let's just ignore that. 
Right, there we go then. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow for our next episode of Motorsport Manager. We will have a, uh, a look at what happened in this race. We'll also look to see if we can improve our HQ even more. I'm not sure if we can do that, to be honest. It's one thing at a time, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, of course, if you've enjoyed this, please do hit the like and, of course, subscribe if you're not already. I've been Chevy Gamer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.